Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing, Dank Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, the part of the week where we take a uh, break from the side of the internet, relax, and look at, well, <laughs> the danker side of the internet. Now, as always, ladies and gentlemen, the theme for today is going to be random as always, and in fact, after playing so much of Spider-Man, which is a great fucking game by the way, I figured the best way to capstone my addiction off is to finish this and then go right back and relapse, ladies and gentlemen. So let's take a little break from everything in our life and go to the very first website. So holy shit, aliens! Now, uh, usually they come with a lot of awesome soundtracks. I tend to have this one kind of uh, muted. Actually, it stopped because I left on the web page for a little longer. But I play the X Files theme. Okay, you know, you get that. You know that one. All right, you've heard it in tons of uh, meme compilations. Anyway, so this is I was abducted by aliens. Now it's got this lovely fucking GBA gif of this alien winking at me, and it's pretty seductive, and I kind of like it. How it all began. It was a hot summer day in 1995, and I was out on my bike, and I saw this big-ass UFO, and I was like, damn, son, where'd you find this? I soon approached it to see an alien. He grabbed me and pulled me on the ship, and then he flew me through space. The ship was like, pew, pew, pew. They shot another alien tribe. Damn, dude. I say don't have a turf war in the comment section, but aliens, they have a turf war in the galaxies, dude. God damn. They decided that they were going to invade the other aliens' homeland. They did this, and the UFO was shaking while they were probing me. Oh, so you were getting anally checked while they were in a fucking turf war. That's, that's multitasking to the extreme, dude. Hail of mouths, bro. God damn. This helped me receive maximum pleasure from the painful probing <laughs> while the ship was shaking. Oh, no. Then the tribe shot out the UFO's power source, and we crashed back on Earth, and everyone died but me. And that is my story. Thank you for your time. Wow, that is a fucking story of the ages. You know, I read creepypastas for years. This this one, this this one dominates the story. What the fuck is this gift? Holy shit! What a man! I don't I don't even is that a man? Did I, did I misgender the alien? Fuck. For the fans, this shit right here was 100% true if you believe me, right? Don't you? Okay, we have, uh, I think that, that's iDubs. Yeah, that's iDubs, dude. Alien in his natural habitat, traveling through the space-time continuum. You know, I, I believe that's, that's what aliens look like. Well, all I want you to know is if anyone had a similar experience with the UFO like I did, it was pretty scary. I almost died. Send me an email at blah, 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 dot onion at blah, 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 dot onion. Holy shit, it's finally over. We have one more submission from a fellow abductee. Okay, so the subject is, oh fuck, I'm, I just saw the emojis. Holy shit. Wow, my, my eyes, okay. Whew, oh shit, I had the same experience with alien to uh, blah, 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 add blah, blah, dot onion. The UFOs, uh, alien, star alien, have finally come... <laughs> Ugh, send this to 10 alien daddies, eggplants. If you get none, back, dead, uh, girl with the, with the fucking cross, uh, dead, you are a lonely galactic hoe. Ah, get five back, hmm? You are a superstar slut. Oh, come on, dude. Get ten back, get you a super space freak. Happy fucking hundred, a hundred out of a hundred. Get that alien cock. Mm, you know what really gets me going? Fire emojis is them aliens up in that galaxy where that mm, Milky Way is. They come here to abduct us. Send this to your fellow humans. Mm, you just maybe you will get probed <laughs> with that thick alien dick. If you don't, the alien daddies will drop you out the spaceship and you will be left floating in space with no extraterrestrial dick in your coochie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Okay, alright, dude, the, the emojis make me want to fucking believe in reality again. I sexually identify as an alien. Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of traveling across the universe, anally probing disgusting inferior species. People say to me that being, that a person being an alien is impossible, and I'm fucking retarded and I don't care. <laughs> What the hell? I'm beautiful. I'm having a plastic surgeon install abduction beams on my body. From now on, I want you guys to call me A. Lamau. Okay. A. Lamau. And respect my right to abduct cows from above and kill needlessly. If you can't accept me, you're a xenophobe, and you need to check your earthling privilege. 
Oh, do you now? You muff, have you checked your earthling privilege? I just found out that I have earthling privilege. I gotta get that checked. Thank you for being so understanding. Uh, blank, blank. Thank you for your time. Christian Costworth. You know what everyone tells you? There's a fucking red room or you're gonna get raped if you access the deep web. Give them this fucking link. That's all you have to do. Just give them this link. And that's life's answers right there. God, I wish an alien would come in my boy pussy. Let's go to the next website. Oh, we got linked to a fucking X board. So if you don't know what an X board is, 4chan's paranormal board is like fucking some of their best. I mean, if you go to B, you're going to get a lot of penises and raids, which is amazing if you want penises and raids. Um, I mean, who, who the fuck doesn't? Uh, but uh, you have VG, which is like video gaming, and X is like paranormal, where all the good creepypastas and shit originate from. So this is the daycare saga. This is the first time hearing about this shit. It's from 2015, so it's uh, pretty vintage. All right. Uh, did I even start the Deep Web series in 2015? I think I started in mid-2015. When did I start the Deep Web series? Holy shit. Question for the ages, huh? Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a new question, dude. Didn't see any daycare discussion on here, and I've been on X lately, so don't know if there's been any already. Gonna copy-paste the OP of a different thread here, as it's better written than anything I could toss together. Have you guys heard of this? Basically, someone on reddit.com slash r slash Salt Lake City, okay, so Salt Lake City, Utah, posted a picture of a building they found creepy. So that's the building they found creepy. And, uh, I mean... It's it's a little too green for my taste, but I don't know how the fuck it's creepy. Because it's supposed to be an active daycare, but no one was ever seen coming or going. People dug into it, found a website which quickly ended up getting taken down, and the who is information wiped. Ooh. Oh, that's actually kind of sketchy. So for those of you who don't know, uh, websites getting taken down happens, but like who is information getting wiped at the same time. That's a little, oh, fuck, it's sketchy. You know, ba who is information is basically site details, all that shit. Then someone... You wanna, can you don't? I'm fucking, tr what the fuck is going on inside my house? Jesus Christ, by the way, it's daytime. What the fuck is going on outside? Holy shit, someone's getting, someone's getting, sh wow. All right, dude, I hope that driveway comes out nice, dude. You don't have to fucking do it at 6.15 in the evening. Jesus Christ. Whew. All right. Wow. Then someone walked by during regular hours and found no one was there but an elderly looking Mexican lady. Someone else kept looking around online and found shipments for 4,000 kilograms, okay, 8,818 pounds, of plastic jewelry being delivered from China, 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 to the following businesses in several states, okay. So, Fun Times Kits Care, okay, that, that name, whew. Fun Crest Bait Shop, Fun with Phonics, Funland Jumpers, Fundamental Financial Group, okay. All these names sound, uh, <clears throat> interesting. One of the above locations, I believe the bait shop, if I remember correctly, has the same address as the home of a registered sex offender. Again, we don't agree with any of this. Like, this is just speculation on 4chan's part. I'm just reading something. The main post on r slash conspiracy was removed and the thread in r slash Salt Lake City was nuked by moths for witch hunting. Damn, dude! They fucking, they banned that shit. Here's possible explanations some people have come up with. Okay, so some people have said it's a front for a drug smuggling op. Some have said it's a CIA, FBI safe house that Reddit just ruined. <laughs> front for an arm smuggling operation. To expand on the arm smuggling, someone checked the bill of ladings for two different, oh, two different heavy shipments d d delivered to the above businesses and found that there were two types of cartons in each crate. One carton had a similar weight uh, to 250 pounds of 7.62 mm ammunition, while the other crate was a slight roundup of a weight of an AK-47. You know, you know what, man? I do bill of ladings at like one of my businesses. It's not fucking. It's not. It's not out of the ordinary. Like, if you're gonna do arm smuggling, it's kind of retarded for you to have like one AK-47 in a crate, right? Like. I don't know, that's like, it's such a risk to, I don't know, I don't know arms smuggling, so I don't do arms smuggling and arms dealing ventures, I mean, thankfully not, not at all, but, like, if you have that kind of shit, don't you think it's more profitable to get, like, multiple AK-47s and, like, more batches, I don't know, I don't know how it works, dude, I don't do weapon smuggling, so may maybe I'm, I'm, I'm just making this shit up, but... The final and most likely scenario is it's a bunch of made-up shit, misinformation, coincidences that people jump to conclusions over. You know what? That's actually the most likely fucking case. Because uh, I actually believe this is, like, just some random daycare. Because it's, like, fucking Salt Lake City, Utah, dude. Like, y you ever seen how depressing daycares look in general? Like, I, I have a daycare not too far away from me. That shit is depressing as fuck. I don't see people going in and out all the time. But it's depressing as shit, and most daycares look fucking depressing. I'm sorry to say. Uh, 
Kids know it's fucking depressing. Parents know it's fucking depressing. It's just a shitty situation. But like, yeah, they've got a they got they got that daycare situation going on, and it just don't make no sense. But let me read the comments real quickly. So yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, none of it makes any fucking sense to me. Like, I mean, it could just be your standard daycare. I don't. Th- I think. I think when you go to like r slash conspiracy, it's a lot of fringe shit. So the problem is, is that. You know, obviously the name looks weird. If it's Fun Times Kids ca- Kids Care, which is what this one is, because it's not a bait shop, phonics, jumpers, or whatever. That name sounds sketchy as shit. I mean, it's a name that sounds like it's it's most likely like a fucking front or whatever. But at the same time, like, I've seen retarded names for like, like I've seen, well, I shouldn't say it's retarded. I mean, I've seen interesting names for businesses that are legitimate. So it's probably a real fucking daycare, dude. People are, people are looking too deep into something, but let me look down to the comments, dude. Cause that's always the best part of a Reddit or 4chan thread. Um, I'm very close to creating a subreddit to talk about all this due to the massive censoring. I guess this means we'll get a crash course in Reddit really soon. Uh, more, this is fucking fascinating. Two possibilities. It's just a random business that doesn't really appreciate the negative attention from a bunch of tinfoil hats, probably. Or the Illuminati uses as a front for their evil mind control race. Ooh, it's spooky. Or maybe a third, it's a place of interest to a law enforcement agency as an online presence would jeopardize the investigations. You know, like, assuming that it was, like, a real sketchy place, then the ATF and FBI or whatever, like, whoever's looking into this shit is probably pissed that all the scrutiny has went up, so now their intelligence, uh, now their intelligence gathering is sort of hindered because of it. That would really fucking piss me off if I was a field agent, right? Like, fuck, man, Reddit killed my investigation. God damn it. X is so starved for spooks that is picking off Reddit scraps. Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. They either have a turf war in the comments, dude. Where's Michael Jackson? Where's that boy better bring some fucking popcorn, dude. <laughs> uh, let it nuke their threads. Confirmed CIA black site. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. You know, it's weird that, like, because I don't, I don't know, Reddit destroyed. The thread was really gone. That's fucked up, dude. The, uh, current theory is that it's a front from some massive Utah-based pedo ring or it's a CIA human trafficking safe house. Nobody has mentioned aliens yet. Oh, oh, but you got A. Lamau here there. A. Lamau. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's go. Let's go look around over here. If it's a smuggling ring, you're just doing work for the cops, you snitches. If it's sex trafficking, honestly, digging into is just going to get young girls hurt. You all suck. Okay, so no matter what, this fucking dude's like, y'all are asses. Okay, end yourself. Commit, commit neck rope. Uh, well, that's gonna Streisand effect the shit out of it. Game. Okay, so Streisand affecting all of it. Nobody's really investigating. Stop it, guys. Relax with the 4chan versus Reddit. I want to see what's going on. Salt Lake City, Utah, ground zero for smuggling human cactus back to Atlanta to be Atlantis to be fed by Aquaman. What? What? Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Woman illegally abducted in New York, found in Utah. Okay, that's a little, that's a little sketchy. Is that, is that real? Let me go to that. Uh, two arrested in alleged human trafficking case. Do I have the McDonald's? Fuck off. No, I don't have the McDonald's Canada app. Get out of here. Looks like we skip Utah this week, boys. If she's so smart, how did she go? <laughs> Fucking stop, Warchan. They're such assholes. <laughs> Jesus. I guess that's why you love it in the first place, right? Uh, turns out the sources people weren't using were, were illegitimate. They were getting shipping orders for another company. Okay. So yeah, the shipment thing didn't happen. Apparently it was like for another company and 4,000 kilograms. I mean, you know, Chinese, it sounds weird for you to get Chinese jewelry in 4,000 kilograms, but it's probably legitimate dude. If it's like the cash for gold type places, uh, grew up in Hispanic ghettos, blah, blah, blah. Parents were broke as shit. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Poles conspiracy versus X conspiracy context, bro. Do you live in Long Beach too? A lot of child care services in neighborhoods like this are exploiting government-subsidized, funded child care programs. They're not really so unusual. This honestly just looks like a daycare in a poor neighborhood that went out of business and been abandoned for a year. You know, probably, because uh, from what I can kind of assume that it doesn't really look like it's the most swankiest of neighborhoods in Salt Lake City, Utah. So it's probably just like a daycare that might be doing – that might not be doing so well on the on the books. I don't know. I don't know, dude. There's a lot of speculation here. Uh, I don't want to really, like, fucking delve too deep into it because, I don't know, if it's some Illuminati front, I could get my fucking face shot off. We might actually dedicate a whole stream to looking at this, but I spent way too much time looking at this anyway, so let's get out of here and go somewhere else. 
Time to time travel. Time travel 101. I feel like I've read this before, but any time travel blog is fucking weird to me anyways, dude. I like thinking of traveling in time, dude. Do I want to go back to the future? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's do it. Da, 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 da. A time travel blog with basics for the beginners. Okay, so... Let's uh, let's obviously work on our work on our header JPEGs for a second. Uh, the time travel blog with basis of time travel. Time to time travel is a time travel blog dedicated to everything related to time and time travel, and a website with the basics of time travels for beginners. Here you will find facts, thought experiments, infographic links to other articles, and reviews of time travel movies and books. I also post on my blog my timely thoughts, some rationals, other not on the subject of time and time travel. I will fucking. Stop it. Jesus, dude. It's late. Stop making noise. I'm an old man. Time to time travel hopes to answer some of the most common questions that arise when thinking about time travel, such as, is time travel possible? How can we time travel? What is time travel anyways? And I've included a bit of a bits and bobs section with miscellaneous articles, such as time travel terminology, famous quotations, and more. Okay, so he's got like basically a giant, I guess, a, amalgamation of information for you to read up about time. So let me go to the importance of time. What is time travel? Is it impossible? And yeah, give me time travel terminology. Oh, hell yeah. Let's read all this. So what is time for? Time is a sweet yet strange thing. It's invisible, yet its passage can be seen and felt. Some people have too much time on their hands, but it can easily slip through the fingers, and you may find that you never had enough. Although time can be measured very accurately, our perception of time can vary dramatically. Einstein has been quoted as saying, When a man sits with a pretty girl for an hour, it seems like a minute. But let him sit on a hot stove for a minute, and it's longer than any hour. That's relativity. That's, uh, that's pretty true, dude. Or you could sit with a girl for an hour and be really bored and feel like an hour. I don't even know where I'm going with that. That was relativity. I've had really shitty dating experiences, okay? That whole that whole statement in the first end doesn't work. You ever been on a date that's like a 30-minute date, kind of, and it's felt like two hours because you're just not talking? It happens, dude. I've been scarred. Anyways, not that we need any further clarification, but we all know that in an hour in the office drags by inter inter interminably, whereas a day spent with your children whizzes by in next to no time. And with a nod to quantum mechanics, the kettle takes forever to boil. See, I'm a little bit indifferent to that to an extent because, like, when I spend time with my friends, it kind of does last forever that it feels like. But when I'm doing work, uh, it's kind of like going through the motions. It depends on the day, right? If I'm doing, like, general work and then yeah it goes through but if I'm doing something I'm really enjoying that day yeah I feel like I feel like I savor it more I guess you could say the importance of time time is intrinsically linked with space and is often described as the fourth dimension some may argue that time itself is not just a single dimension in a single direction but could be multi-dimensional so instead of a timeline of past present and future we could have an area of time a volume of time or perhaps something even more complex but what does this mean for us in real terms if time is a multi-dimension can we travel through it all right, fair enough. Can we travel through time? Let's look at this. So what is time? You got sunglasses on a clock? Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Uh, there is a natural progression in the fourth dimension of time from past through present and into the future, which occurs at a rate of one second per second. But can the passage rate of change uh, of time be altered? Can one second be experienced where 10 seconds have expired or minus 10 seconds? This is time travel. Oh, boy. The definition of time travel therefore excludes the idea that time travel has taken place if an object has been subjected to nothing more than a normal flow of time. You are now a few minutes into the future as compared to where you were when you first started reading the page, but you have not traveled here independently from a normal time flow. Consider the case of a canoeist in a moving river. If he drifts at the same rate as the water, he is traveling, but out of control. To be in control, he needs to be moving faster or slower than the speed of the water. Simply drifting along the current is not paddling. A dead duck can drift. Wow, it went dark. Jesus. It is the same with time travel. To be a time traveler, to be in control of your movement within time, we need to move slower or faster than the ambient time flow. Uh... I guess I can understand the analogy, but Jesus Christ, dude, it's a little bit different, you know? Time traveling is therefore a transport through time as a, nav a navigable dimension in much the same way that traveling through space takes you from one point to in space to another. So you're late for work. On Monday morning, along with hundreds of other commuters, I imagine, I was looking for my car keys. With you and your time travel, I probably jump forward in time or something, said my wife. Notably not helping me look for any of these elusive initiators of it. Your wife is awesome if she says that to you. God, what a snarky fucking response. 
whoo, wife that woman up, dude. Let me tell you, he already did. Good for him. What do you say that? Why do you say? Because you'll find them in the future. She was right, of course. That time had passed from the moment I lost them to the moment of finding them. I wish I was that optimistic about lost car keys, dude. Ah, no problem, Moody. You'll find them in the future. I mean, I do. But that's still retarded. My daughter had hidden them in her dollhouse, so they were in the future, but so was I. And as such, I don't think that warranted time travel. Okay. Uh, nostalgic, romantic evening. So basically, the idea is, is that when we're traveling through time, it's, uh, it's I guess, not as easy or something? It's, it's weird how it's described in this situation. Because basically, the way that time travel works is that we have to find a way to control, slow, and enhance our perception or control through time rather than just drifting along in it. So is time travel impossible? The idea that we could travel in time should make sense. We can travel in space from one coordinate to another, so a similar thing should be possible with time. To move from one moment in time to another. It sounds simple, but time travel really doesn't make sense. Going into the past and living the same moment again, or going into the future and missing out on a whole chunk of what would have been otherwise a part of your life doesn't seem logical. What happened has happened and the future hasn't yet been decided. But this is old, but is this old wisdom true? Or is the inevitability of predestination, que sera sera, whatever will be, she will be? more likely. Then there are paradoxes associated with time travel. The most famous is the grandfather paradox. When a time traveler goes back in time and meets his grandfather as a young boy, the time traveler kills his grandfather, meaning that his parents could never have been conceived, and therefore neither could he. And if he doesn't exist, he couldn't have gone back in time to kill his grandfather. So then he does exist after all. That's actually true. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah, if you killed your granddad, then you would kill your parents. But then you die, so then you could never kill your grand. What the fuck? Yeah, I never. Holy shit, I didn't even know that one. Jesus, that's so true. Holy fuck. Another well known paradox is the ontological paradox, which refers to the existence of an object or information where it has never been created. For example, a time traveler goes into the future and sees a beautiful painting in an art gallery. He then goes back to his own time and paints the picture he has just seen, copying from memory its design, the colors, the materials, and when it's completed, the painting is considered to be so beautiful that it is put in an art gallery. That painting is the same one you saw in the future, so who created the idea of the original painting? Yeah, you're right. you just changed fucking time, Jesus. So some of them tr tickle the mind and are the source of material for some extra in science fiction. After all, in fiction, anything can happen, but in real life, we're not sure yet what would happen given such scenarios such as these. We know that nature abhors a vacuum, but does it abhor a paradox such as time travel? Yeah, energy requirement for time travel is prohibitive, time doesn't exist, so traveling through it can be, can't be possible. Three-dimensional space needs to be manipulated to allow for accelerated time, no validation. So yeah, we've never done time travel, unless you go on YouTube and find a time traveler. So who knows? Energy requirement, time, 3D space. All right, so... He's, this is an interesting situation because it's basically gone into such detail about time travel and the paradoxes involved with it that, yeah, it actually does make you think. Now, do I personally believe traveling through time is possible? I mean, yeah, I, I honestly think that time travel is a possible scenario that could happen. I mean, the, the science is really fringe around it, but if you look at things that are mentioned like time dilation and uh, wormhole speed of light, I mean, speed of light, I don't think you can supersede. I mean, unless you find a way, yeah, maybe, but you know, you got things like time dilation and wormholes. So like, let's assume that we were in the fucking future, right? Like way into the future and these things were well within our grasp to manipulate. I think time travel could be a realistic thing. Now, I don't know how the paradoxes would be handled. That'd be such a weird manipulation. I think, see, time travel is weird. Like, if it was a real thing, I think people from the future may have already come to the past. You know, we would have seen it at some point, right? Like, it's so weird how traveling through time happens. But I don't know, dude. I don't know how it works. Uh, I, I feel that it could be a possibility, but at the same time, like, it would have happened already. You know what I mean? Like, we would have had somebody jump back in time easily. But anyways... That being said, let me go back and uh, hit up a different website. This one really tickled my brains. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a deep web video of the week. It's about 36 seconds long, and frankly, it's coded in so many Minecraft pixels that I'm having a great time just getting giddy about it, dude. So without further ado, we're actually going to get right into this video to start it. 36 seconds is actually 6 seconds over my average now, which is now 30 seconds on the dot. But uh, we're going to hit play and just see what we're getting into. So let's, uh, let's go into this and see what we actually have. 
And oh, holy fuck, we started a what the fuck? Oh, it's going slow mo. I gotta hear this. Wait a minute. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Hold on, let's go back real quick. So it's clearly a woman. You can hear a woman go, like, listen closely to it. Listen closely. It's clearly a woman uh, going, oh my. Yeah, you heard that? Oh my, right there. It was a woman's voice. And then she honks the horn and starts reversing fast. And that thing just keeps fucking going. Now listen to over here. Yeah, she says, oh my, or oh man. And that thing over there, it's like fucking just... It's, it's a human being, dude. It's like a human being. It's on all fours, just crawling really slowly. That's fucking weird. Holy shit. It just disappears. Is it going to attack? I think it's just a slow-mo recap of it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, okay. All right. Number one fact. It's got to be a fucking fake for sure. It has to be some fake shit. But that's sketchy. Hold on. I got to play that again. What the fuck? Look at this. No, like, legitimately look at this. Like, it's not even, it doesn't even look edited. It's like somebody just going straight through the grass. Where the fuck is this, man? Is that, it's, it's like... This, this girl's gotta be fucking scared. Like, out of her, she's gotta be so gone. But, like, you can see that. It's so humanoid walking across. It's not like it's a fucking animal or anything. It's not even reacting to the horn or anything of that sort. So it's like some sketchy-ass dude. Like, I don't know what it is. It, it looks like it's some dude tweaked out or something, like, crawling across the ground. It's probably got to be some, like, drugged-out individual doing some crazy drugged-out shit. But, like, to be out in the middle of the fucking, like, fields doing this crap? Nah, dude, not happening. That's why I don't go piss out in the middle of nowhere, dude. You never know what kind of shit you find, and it could be this crap. But yeah, no, you go further into it, it just goes across. There's no response given. So realistically, the thing is, is now we have to decide, is it real or fake? Now, obviously, I'm going to lean on the fact that it's fake. It's probably some friend doing this, and they're making like a video out of it or some bullshit. Now, the reality is, could it be real? Like I said, it could be some tweaked out individual, or it could be some, I don't know, unexplained new creature or something. The thing that I'm hearing though in the video is like genuine fear and like this honk in reverse. It's like, cause like usually when you look at somebody faking, they're like scares. They like starts screaming erratically, uh, which can be real for sure. But like somebody who goes quiet like that, that that's like how I get scared. Like when I get scared, I'm like, Oh shit. And then I get quiet and like, I really get quiet. Like, that kind of stuff, that, that raises hairs on your neck. I ain't fucking with that nonsense, dude. That's too much. Like, you see the shit? You, you see any of this, like, going across? Look at that. You don't do that, dude. You're reversing out of here, and you see this kind of shit? You don't do it, man. Because that doesn't even look that edited. It's not even like a dog. It's like straight human being. You can see the legs. You can see the arms. You can even see, like, the head move a little bit. If it wasn't in Minecraft mode... I'd have a little more time looking into that shit, but frankly, I can't look into it more than I am. So 36 second video, it beats seeing the Chinese people masturbate on the fucking subways. And frankly, I'm going to ask you guys, do you think it's real or do you think it's fake? And if for some reason anybody can decide where this was filmed at, please let me know in the comment section below. That being said, let's go to something else. Mind control torture blog. Oh boy. Last update is September 6th. What the fuck was that? Seven, dude. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, wow. Save this website, share it, make a copy, pass it on to others. Ask why people like me, Peter Mooring, Helen Gardina, and many others across the globe all claim the same thing. Peter and me also claim things like the perpetrators being able to hack our computers, phones, TVs. This is not a new global sickness. See below for symptoms and evidence. So they've got evidence over here, Matrix Deciphered. What the fuck? Really? Matrix? The Matrix Deciphered. Do we live in Matrix? Do we live in the Matrix? We live in the Matrix? Oh my god, this is not a fucking short book. Get get out of here. This ain't no short book, dude. But apparently they've got uh, mind control or everything written over here. I'm going to go back out here and we'll, we'll probably read that for later. You know what? Actually, I will... I'll just... Uh, I'll, 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 I'll save that somewhere, okay? You know what I mean? That that might be a book worth reading at some point, but we're going to we're gonna back out of this and go hit up something else. Anyways, 
Uh, first, understand the human brain works on frequencies. Frequencies can be isolated and captured through brain transmitters. Those frequencies can be sent to remote computers for analysis through wireless radio. Uh, kind of seems like you're simplifying the whole thing a lot. I don't even know if they have fucking brain transmitters, Jesus, like that, the, w the way that you're expecting. Also, they can inject thoughts, feelings, pains, and emotions. Anything you can imagine through frequencies being back at you via radio waves. After reading my blog and other website links below, you will see why I am a true TI. And what I say is truth and very important for others' TIs to understand. You need to read this entire website uh, and my other websites to understand what they can do and how to protect yourself. Okay. Uh, why did they experiment on you without consent? Through my life analysis of what happened to me uh, and research, I realized that they are USA building, uh, building an artificial intelligence system that can monitor every human culture on earth, every language and every gender. That seems fucking far-fetched, man. I love how every of these conspiracies happen in the United States. Like, it's never, oh, man, the United Kingdom is doing something fucking sketchy in the world. Or maybe China is doing something fucking sketchy, like mind-controlling the world. It's always fucking America, dude. Always the United States. Always the Estudos Unidos. Always, always fucking, always the U.S. Always America that is doing this shit. All right, Americans, you need to relax with your mind control, your weather control, your fucking blowing up towers and shit, all that crap. You need to chill, okay? Stop. Just have a conspiracy-free year, apparently, to the internet. That's what you need. So why did they experiment on you without your consent? Yeah, why did the United States experiment on me? Throughout my life analysis of what happened to me and research, I realized that they are building an AI system that can monitor all that. The AI is designed for national security reasons. That's why they experimented on TIs without consent. An AI system that can control people remotely is a far greater weapon than a nuclear bomb. Yes, yes it is, technically. They need this system to be able to, uh, without the victim knowing, control them. The system is designed to be able to alter people's feelings, emotions, taste, conscience, pain. The system is designed to drive people into decision paths they would not normally do. For example, the system can inflict trauma on a victim nonstop for days and days on end and cause a victim to go into severe depression and commit suicide. The system can inflict feelings of rage and hate to cause the victim to kill someone. They use the system to create Manchurian candidates. You see that this is a system used for war? This is why they experimented on you without consent. Fuck, man. Stop, U.S. If they experimented on you with consent, they can see, uh, they, then they cannot make you do stuff you don't want to do. You now see why that they experimented on you without consent. Okay, so, yeah, uh, I mean, if the United States government said, uh, can I depress you to the point of killing yourself? I'd probably say no. I'd very much say no. But, you know, obviously without asking my permission, I can't really say no, dude. I mean... Makes fucking sense to me. All right. The AI is so advanced that you or almost anyone will think of it as an actual person talking to you via V2K, voice to skull. The AI doesn't come across as a computer via V2K because it is designed to talk to like a non-computer. They can actually clone people's personalities into this AI and then the AI can use those personalities to assault victims via V2K. The AI can also give you feelings with the speech to make it even feel more real. With V2K and voice cloning technology, the AI can make you think of it as uh, George Bush or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Never believe names given to you via voice to skull. I think you're talking about schizophrenia or something? Victims need to be extremely careful about their thoughts because they can take your own thoughts, feed them into the AI, and have the AI assault you with your own thoughts played back, and it will feel real to the victim. The AI they have is extremely advanced, much more than any commercial product you have seen in 2018. Like I said, they can capture your thoughts, feelings, moods, and use them against you. The system is extremely dangerous, and it can control our politicians and leaders. And I'm telling you this, this technology fell into the wrong hands already. Okay, so basically what they're saying is the system can control people and their thoughts to the point where they can alter feelings to make us go kill or kill ourselves, and apparently the system has been captured already. This is like... Like you, like the motherfucking tinfoil best, the best, the Rolex of tinfoils has been worn today. Let me tell you, but uh, you know, may, maybe it's true. I don't know, dude. The U.S. government's done some sketchy shit in its time. But let's go into this. There are also other soldiers involved besides AI because they need to analyze the AI system to make it better. The AI system uses an algorithm and can even figure out stuff by itself. They can make the AI system torture you based on a trauma-based mind control algorithm. Wow, why the fuck is waterboarding still a thing? 
Someone else being able to see through your own eyes, either with lens implants in the eyes or through the brain. It's 100% proven that this fact can be done. Look at the BBC article I referenced below with pictures of scientists looking through a cat's eyes with brain transmitters. What they use on the cat is primitive technology. The technology they have, the military, NSA, CIA, gives them clear video. So, what is this? Um, they can apparently, so they attach brain transmitters to a cat and were able to see what this cat sees a human being as. And my, oh, fucking my, it is blurry as shit, dude. God damn it. But apparently that is realistic for the cat, and that's kind of cool if they actually pull that shit off. I kind of, I I am, I am surprised. I am actually really surprised. That is, that is cool. Um, so this is what they can do. Okay, so they can give you visual hallucinations or artificial dreams, reading thoughts, retrieving memories, manipulation of thoughts, wills, emotions, desire, and perceptions. There's a movie I watched recently. It's called Inception. Kind of, kind of like that. Memory lose your jamming your memory when you are about to have an important thought. Manipulation of human behavior, forced speech, um, involuntarily body movements. They can implant words into your speech. They do this with EEG cloning and heterodyning. I will explain this at the bottom of the page. They can put you in a freeze where you cannot move your body semi-unconscious. They can put you in a fake coma. The artificial dreams they give you are like virtual reality. They can manipulate you very subtly without you knowing unless you are aware this is happening to you. They can connect to you and control your body and make you do stuff without you being aware. Okay, they can fucking basically control you. You're basically like a puppet, okay? That's what happens. It's, uh, they, they, they control you. Your body is not your own. You, just, you get put to the side. That's it. It's like mind jack. Debilitation of mental acuity, blurred vision or singing eyes, sleep deprivation or uncontrolled sleep. They can give you extreme muscle cramps, spasms, joint pains, and the pain that they give you is controlled by a computer. So, okay, they can inject pain.exe. Make your teeth fall out. They can use secret medical glue to put devices into your skull and body and closing the wounds without a trace or a very faint mark of a cut. Wow. Okay. Um, they have laser weapons that can cut you. These are not laser weapons like the comics or movies. They're a concentrated microwave beam that can cut things. They can make objects appear like they are by you and there's nothing there or shadows. The people that are doing this or the people doing this are drug addicts and hardened professional criminals. They have the technology and they're brainwashed to think that they are gods. They try to make people think that they are gods or Jesus or angels. Be careful. They are not. They are very evil. Holy shit, it just fucking goes on and on and on. My lord, they can do every single thing they can. I, you know what? I got to say one thing. They believe this and it is, I get to them, this is as real as it goes. It, you know that, you know the very first couple deep web videos where we came across the Dulse bases or whatever? Uh, this is literally an extension of that shit, man. This is kind of like, like, you know what I got to say? Somebody's got, Somebody believes in this shit outright, and it's impressive to say the least, but I, I feel like we're digging way too much into this. It's getting way too fringe at this point, and I don't know how I believe about it. It's long as shit. This is a big fucking page. Now, I don't know how realistic this is. I don't know if the government has that kind of control technology. It's really fucking reaching, but what I do know is the next website I will be going to. And it's not going to be anywhere related to this. We're going to hit out and go somewhere else. Jesus Christ, this was... Wow, this is already a long Deep Web episode, too. God bless. Satanism in Pokemans. Oh, boy, dude. Lord Cal coming in clutch with the answers we should be asking. So, Satanism in Pokemon. Is your kid experiencing satanic principles? Well, let's find out. What motivated us to do this book letter newsletter form was an inquiry from a grandmother on the internet. She wrote, Dear George and Rita, thank you so much for your interesting Cepha news. I have a question. What do you know about Poker Man? My little grandson is only three and a half, and he's already obsessed with Poker Man and his mom. My daughter, Deborah, who is not saved. Oh, come on. We gotta get Jesus. Oh, he's not saved yet. Buys him whatever he asks for. He has all the cards, counters, like toy money, and all the little plastic figures. The last time they visited us, he had his Pokemon cards, coins, and figures with him, and he was dreadful. He was rude, cheeky, wouldn't eat any lunch, tried to run away several times bit his big sister hard on the arm and made her cry. What the fuck? He also likes uh, Power Rangers, Batman, Karate. He already knows how to kickbox and swords. He has a light-up Jedi sword. All his seven goldfish have Pokemon names. What can you tell me about Pokemon? We have a number of articles about Pokemon and Harry Potter to which people without a computer have no access. Feel free to make copies of this and hand it to fathers and mothers. Okay, so... 
Well, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's read what Pokemon's about. Who are the strange little creatures from Japan and how they suddenly become global superstars? Most kids know the answer well. They are called Pokemon, short for Pocket Monster, and pronounced Pokemon. And they have stirred up many mixed reactions. We just sent a letter home today saying Pokemon cards are no longer allowed on campus at Paula Williams, a second grade teacher in Danville, California. The kids know they're supposed to be put away when they've come in from recess, but they're often in the middle of a trade. So they don't come in on time. In most extreme cases, the older kids are getting little kids to trade away valuable cards. Oh, shit! Oh, dude, we've all, we've all experienced that fucking... Fifth graders and sixth graders acting all cheeky. God. God. F We've all fell for that in the fucking second grade, dude. Let me tell you. It makes me kind of cry a little bit sometimes. But it's all cool. The first graders fell for our shit, so it kind of evened out. They were popular with the children at our church and elsewhere. I was instantly suspicious, but wouldn't discern the problem. Okay, blah, 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 blah. We've told that they become stepping stones to the magic cards that have been popular and which we do not allow. Okay. She is right, for instance. Any child exploring the most popular Pokemon websites, two will be linked in it to a section of a cult game such as Sailor Moon. Oh, dude, Sailor Moon's a cult, man. Well, you heard it, boys and girls. Your fat fuel is illegal, ain't it? Star Wars and others more overtly evil. A click on the ad for... Don't, don't fap to Sailor Moon, dude. That's, that's, that's retarded. All right, don't be doing that, all right? No matter what J-Pan will tell you to do, don't do it. How's Star Wars a fucking... What? Oh, there's more... It's a galaxy far fucking away, you you, you racists. A click on the ad for Magic the Gathering brings Pokemon fans to a site offering promotions such as this. Yeah, of course Magic the Gathering wants to promote their shit. Come on, it's that's why the ad was there. Let's not pretend this is something deeper than it is. The Pokemon message. The above website gives us glimpses of a mysterious little creature called Pokemon. Ponder the suggestion in the greeting. Welcome to a world of Pokemon, a special place where people just like you train to become the number one Pokemon master in the world. But what is it? Oh, is the Pokemon Master supposed to be the fucking Antichrist? Well, I guess we just decipher that bitch, ladies and gentlemen. But what is Pokemon, you ask? Pokemon are incredible creatures that share the world with humans, says Professor Oak, the leading authority on these monsters. There are currently 150 documented species of Pokemon. Each Pokemon has its own uh, fighting abilities. Some grow, evolve, and into more powerful creatures. Carry your Pokemon with you, and you're ready for anything. You've got the power in your hand, so use it. But what if children try to follow this advice? What if they carry their favorite monsters like magical charms or fetishes in their pockets? Oh, Je Jesus Christ Almighty! Trusting them to bring power in times of need. Many do. It makes sense for those who watch the television show. In a recent episode, Ash, the boy hero, had just captured his fifth little Pokemon. But that wasn't good enough, said his mentor. He must catch lots and more. Yeah, turn those little bitches into slaves. You know how to play the game, kids. All right, obviously Ash didn't understand the supernatural powerful he constructed. And neither do most young Pokemon fans today. Unless they know God and his warnings, they cannot understand the forces that have captivated children around the world. Oh, oh well. K kids like Pokemon? Well, you just don't know about God, silly. I don't know what similarities they got over there. It's a little, um, sort of retarded. But the Pokemon mania supports a financial conglomerate that knows how to feed the frenzy. No shit. The television series is free, but a drug... You gotta pay for cable, you tards. But it drives the multi-billion dollar business. It also inspires the obsessive new games that disrupt schools and families by giving the children a seductive vision to become Pokemon masters. Yeah, man, give kids a fucking goal, right? That's so bad. A tempting promise. Supernatural power. I... I what? What? A new objective, keep collecting Pokemon. Man, it's like, it's like fucking goals to shoot for, right? Damn. You know what? I play Final Fantasy. You know what that gives me? A seductive vision to reach the credit screen. A new objective to keep getting stronger. Tempting promise. Extra Kiraga abilities. All that shit. An urgent command. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> What the hell? Let's not assimilate that message into STDs, boys and girls. That would be that would be the wrongest and whatever, dude. These enticements are drilled into young minds through clever ads, snappy slogans, and the Pokemon rap and the uh Yeah, dude. 
That was a great rap. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide, each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Gotta catch them all. The last line, the Pokemon mantra, fuels the craving for more occult cards, games, toys, gadgets, and comic books. No wonder children caught up in the Pokemon craze beg for more games and gadgets. The Japanese makers count on it. Japan, number one, since the means often justify the economic ends in the end. You're saying that, like, Pokemon is the only one that fucking does this shit. Now, what is this? You can catch a Mew by cheating with a Game Shark. Ah, the Game Shark. Cheating is not honorable. But many of you have requested and sent me this information. The Moonstone of all certain Pokemon, such as Clefairy. Select your desired attack. Hold down the button until your opponent's life force starts. Really, Mood of the Saint Yu-Gi-Oh! Stops draining. Uh, once you've captured Zapdos... Oh, Zapdos? That's that's the new evolution, right? That's the fucking... That's the Z evolution. You can use it to quickly lower the health level of Articuno. Are you playing fucking Pokemon Broken English? Like, what the fuck? Super Smash Brothers, a unique fighting game, features all of Nintendo's biggest star... That's not even Pokemon. Come on, dude. Uh, yeah, what kind of beliefs are you bringing down on Pokemon, dude? Anyways, this goes on and on and on. Like, you think this is fucking, like, small? This shit's huge, dude. Get out of here. So, what can parents do? Okay. First, look at, look at God's view of toys, games, and cartoons, okay? Look at what God thinks about Toys R Us. Apparently, God smited that company out of existence. Share your observations. Uh, okay. To teach young children a biblical attitude towards evil. You know what, kid? Believe in Jesus? That's what's going to... Okay. Model-wise decision-making. By the way, anybody who thinks that I have anything against religion, I don't. It's just sometimes you read this kind of stuff and it's... Uh, mm, lit. Uh, uh, what does this game teach you? What does it have anything to do with supernatural power? I don't know if it does. It means ghost-type Pokemon? Maybe? But, like, no. What does it teach about violence or immortality and their consequences? Uh, there's a whole city dedicated to death so i mean there's no immortality the, you really wanted to put death in a pokemon game dude like yeah that would be a great feature permadeath for the kitties right yeah play an iron man mode kids does this game or toy have symbols or characteristics that link it to new age or occult powers does it build godly characters you know honestly when you play something like pokemon i, I guess maybe it shows you some maybe assumptions of like Buddhist cultures? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm kind of reaching at this point, but, like, even then, isn't it kind of fucked up to just immediately smite that shit out of existence? Like, you know, who are you to say that you're inherently right or wrong? Like, this shit is kind of reaching in multiple locations, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, I think anytime somebody sees, like, aliens or, like, any other belief system than their own, they immediately toss it into the occult. Like, it doesn't fucking matter, you know what I mean? Like, uh... It's just dumb. It really is dumb. Like, you, you got over here, and it's just it's just retarded. But, um, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Uh, both the boy and his sister burned their car. Teaching your kids the joys of arson is a good idea. You know? You know, you, 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 you might not be wrong. But, yeah, I don't know, dude. It's a, it's a weird thing. This is, like, a really big uh, view on Satanism in Pokemon, which, like, you know... I don't, I don't know the argument for it. I think if you honestly feel your kid is developing some supernatural godlike tendencies from playing Pokemon, then maybe you should just sit down and talk to them, right? Like, if you're a real religious parent, then maybe sit down and talk to your kid and be like, you know, who has all the power, son? God. And that, that's about the only thing you have to answer for him, right? Like, I think shutting away Pokemons, like, when you shut something away from a kid, it only makes it more curious, so, like... If that was the intent, like, just, just talk to your fucking kids, guys. Don't, don't be Googling this shit. Just talk to your kids about what Pokemon is. Get an idea from them and then read up on it on your own. Be a fucking parent. Anyways, let's go to the next uh, website. And ladies and gentlemen, that was another episode of Deep Web Browsing, Dank Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, the part of the week where we take a look at the danker side of the internet. So this week, we've seen things uh, all relative to time traveling, uh, Satanism in, in our favorite Pokemans, and, uh, well, just a whole bunch of other mm, lovely stuff. It's been a pretty lengthy episode, but I think everything comes to an end at this point. So let me know what you thought about it. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I am out.